Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III and today I want to make this video wristwatches are really starting to fuck me off really starting to fuck me off and I gotta tell you I um, I really wonder about this hobby of collecting watches and let me explain you buy a Rolex, you buy an Amiga, you buy whatever fucking piece of shit you want to buy and when it comes to servicing it these watch companies Rolex, Patek Philippe, Vacheron they won't sell parts to an independent watchmaker no 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 all in house, all done in house for quality well, what about some independence and some price competition no 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 and this is the whole fucking thing these watch companies instead of supplying parts to independence they now want it all for themselves and these same companies they they go and say oh we can't get enough watchmakers well tell me this if you were starting a trade would you want to do a trade where you can't get any generic spare parts from anyone and this is the whole thing it's like becoming a mechanic but all you can do is uh, oil and filters and brake pads. Anything else, you got to take it back to the manufacturer. And it's really starting to piss me off. Really starting to piss me off. And uh, wristwatches themselves there. You got to service the fuckers. You got to do all this stuff. And I'm really asking the question: Is it really worth collecting these fucking things? when you are over a fucking barrel you are over a fucking barrel and uh, it gets nasty it gets very damn nasty you collect these things and uh, you're tied in to the manufacturer for a long time and I, I had this experience with AP I had an Audemars Piguet 3 hand with a date automatic it even used a uh, Jager La Coltra based movement you think an independent watchmaker sure they could service it but they needed a few parts and uh, AP isn't going to supply an independent watchmaker the same thing is happening with Rolex Rolex used to give tools free of charge to watchmakers so that the brand could easily be serviced they thought it would help sales in the day. Rolex has then turned around and gone back to watchmakers and art demanded the tools back and said we're doing it in-house now. And this is how nasty the watch industry is. All these makers, they want to keep the servicing to themselves. So there's no way in the fucking world if you were thinking about becoming a watchmaker you'd feasibly want to do it because you can't get spare parts from any of these people they, they won't supply you they won't supply you and if you can't get parts what the fuck can you do do you fabricate parts that's not really an answer do you hodge and bodge it well that that's not a great answer for horology what the fuck do you do and this is the whole thing that is happening with with watchmaking you are becoming so tied in to the manufacturer and uh, at least with very popular luxury models like Rolex there is a there is a sea of parts out there but these newer Rolexes they're bringing in things to make them so that you're tied to them how the fuck would you get a replacement ceramic bezel if one was broken how the fuck would you get one well you'd have to send it to Rolex and they would then screw you over for a service as well they'd say oh the integrity has been breached we'll have to do a service thousand dollars sir plus the bezel and this is the whole thing it is fucking nasty it is nasty the independent watchmakers they're really a dying breed why would you want to become a mechanic if you can't even get spark plugs 
You can't even get any parts to fix a problem. And that is how bad it is. That is how nasty and bad it is now, fuckers. So, watches, is it such a great hobby? Well, I love my watches, but I can see this being a very silly fucking thing to collect. If they're going to be such cunts, if the manufacturers are going to be such cunts, why have a collection of them? Why not have a small compact collection? That's it. That's all you need. A couple of watches. That's it. What the fuck? Do you want to build a huge collection when you are fucking over a barrel? They will fucking literally rape you. Literally rape you, fuckers. And uh, there's not a nice way to put it. They will literally fucking rape you. And this is something that's been going on for a long while now. But it's the awful fucking dreaded truth. The reality is, fuckers... Maybe it's time to collect something else. Maybe it's time to have one or two quality pieces and tell the manufacturers to fuck off. I'm Archibald Chesterfield III. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. Sad video indeed. Yeah.